Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we will be reviewing different base locations and we have done a video about this before. However, today we're gonna make like a way better version. Hopefully. So, we might be going over, you know, some locations again. However, today we're gonna do some more high tier bases, so hopefully it will be better. And we'll be ranking all of them at the end, so... Yeah, so stay tuned for stay that. Stay tuned. So, where should we begin, Hampus? Yeah. Are we gonna fold it yeah. up? Look at that. And then we can also press this button. And we have this super overly complicated system to bring out with the green screen. Uh, I'm actually gonna put this in some kind of speed mode because it takes a lot of time. Right. So first up is probably your first base as well. And that is going to be the workshop. I believe it's uh, really good. I mean, you could play a whole playthrough with thousands of hours just living in the mechanic station and you've got access to all of the things you might need. You even got the uh, dispenser bot. So next up we'll be talking about a base on wheels and while it might seem a bit hard to accomplish or build one, it's actually rather simple. So what are the perks? You can practically do whatever you want and you can go wherever you want, live here one day, there one day. And since you live that kind of life, you also got kind of access to all of the resources, you can go wherever you want. And also these bases can be made like really nice if you put the work into it. Oh no, Nari. Oh, it's not. Stop, 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 stop. And well, what are the disadvantages like? Yeah, we just saw one. <laughs> yeah, it's the red bots. They are honestly one of the biggest disadvantages and advantages, I shall say that. We've had several red bots running through our vehicles and uh, it never ended really like that well for either of us. No! Uh, red, 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 red. Uh oh, uh oh. Get him, get him. Oh, he has, to, he has to take down a tree. What damage did he do? Oh. Oh, no. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, so uh, that's a pretty big disadvantage. But if, if you can make it work, it's a nice base. Now, to one of my favorite base types, or at least I'm talking about functionality, and that must be the oil pound base. Pun. Pun. As you can see, we haven't built an oil pond uh, base in this world, so we have to fly down here and get the oil all of the time we need, like, you know, fuel. Yeah, just some fun statistics. We've used two fuel tanks just, you know, in this time recording this video. So yeah, that's one super big advantage with uh, living out close to an oil pond is, you know, you get free access or, like, super fast access, I should say. And also, building a base close to an oil pond could also make a really nice base if you, you know, put the work into it. Next up, another interesting base is the island. Now, why you may ask, it's basically like the, any land, except it's, you know, very difficult to get to. Uh, the thing is that it's a perfect defense against the bots, and it also looks really cool with uh, boats and having vehicles that not just to drive on land, but can go on water and all of that. Well, those are some advantages with living on an island, however, there are some pretty big disadvantages. To begin with, it's pretty hard to reach. You have to have a flying machine or a boat, you can't use a car. And to not even begin with materials, because yes, you've got the wood and whatever materials you have on your island. However, once they're done or gone, you don't have any materials. But you know what? Before we go into the more interesting bases, we would just like to show you this backup system that we've just created. So, this is the one, you can see it right here. Um, and actually, while recording this, this has been on in the background, and it actually makes no problems. It just, it's just there in the background, it makes backups whenever I want. You see, I can set the settings to whenever I want, I can choose where to. So you can see, it detects all files, it copies and uh, everything, which is uh, really nice, actually. It's really great. If you want to check it out, we'll have a link in the description. 
Now enough of that, let's get into the more interesting bases. So let's just begin somewhere really close. Like, really close. What should I say? Perks? You can make this re base really nice. I mean, uh, yeah, just look at this. Now, unfortunately, those are almost all of the advantages. So, except from being very cool, it's very hard to build one, actually. I believe this is the hardest yeah. base we've built, and uh, also you don't have access with cars, boats, or anything except flying machines up here, so that's not good. And actually, if this flying machine were to fall down, we actually had to make a backup because it's that terrible living up in a tree. So we have this button, which we can press, and we get our backup flying machine because, you know, we need a flying machine once we're up here. Yeah, it's not very fancy. Oof. And also, as you just saw that, it's actually really easy to fall down. Another negative with a base like this is that you can't hide anything on the outside. Uh, yeah, that is extremely hard. Uh, that's why we have this overcomplicated uh, green screen thing, because we needed to, you know, hide it underneath there, as you can see. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, because we wouldn't, we didn't want you guys to be able to see it from the outside. But back to advantages or perks, you can do stuff like this. See, I don't even have to worry about him because he will never be able to get to me. Another interesting one is building one underground. However, we're not actually gonna talk about this because I hate doing that glitch and therefore you should not do it as well. It's actually called Ruin City. <laughs> they, they actually state on the Wikipedia a common unofficial name for the Ruin City is Scrap City. <laughs> that is some fun fact, you know. Uh, so, this is next up on the list, and I would say it's a terrible idea. I mean, perks? You have a quick access to bots, which you can kill. Downsides? There's bots close everything. to you. <laughs> yeah, basically everything is a downside, except, except. There is a lot of chests that you can loot, so that's actually really great. I would actually love to see someone build like the damage rate farm on top of this and have a base oh. in the air on top. You know what, I'm actually gonna challenge you. If you can build so that a uh, damage crate farm that connects every single house in Scrap City and you build a base on top of that, which makes it completely fully able, we will feature that video or that kind of thing in a video, so you'll basically get a shout out. Uh, and another fun fun fact is that uh, the ruined city is the only structure that features a warehouse key hidden in it. So what? This makes it yeah. It makes it the only official uh, alternative to killing the farm bot if you want to enter a warehouse. Huh. So if you want to be like humane to them or kind, you could just go to farm city to kill ten robots and then get the <laughs> key yeah. that's not killed from a robot. <laughs> Now we're actually gonna take uh, maybe some even more interesting because actually two of you guys that may might be watching this video comment these uh, ideas, ideas, I ideas. Humble, help me out. Yeah. And also on to the next one, which is the hay maze. I actually don't know where to find that either, so we're actually just gonna fly, you know. The largest perk with this uh, building spot is that all of these uh, hay bales are indestructible, which make it uh, quite good for farming. Yeah, I could imagine. So, let's just start with one of the downside, and that is actually the downside Humpus exper is experiencing right now. You will also <laughs> have a hard time trying to find your way into your base. Yeah, the game files actually refer to this uh, structure as a lab room. So, what can we say about this base? Well... I think it will be kind of hard to build it, but if you are creative and you have a great idea how to build it here, I think you might be able to go for it actually. If you would make some kind of way to easily get into the middle point, maybe a flying machine or something, um, that would be great. And also you can farm really easily, which is also great. And actually last up on our list is the farm tile, which we're currently at. This one was also hard to find because we've never been here. Okay, so I've never actually thought about building a base here. I have visited this place once in another world and that was to steal the plot. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you want to like run a realistic uh, 
farming experience. This would look uh, really amazing. A downside though is what you just saw. There's a lot of hay bales right here. Now, other than that, I don't think there's too much to say. You have all of the resources. You have a big plot where you can place plots. Uh, you just see another guy. Um, and you could make a really good haybot farm. So uh, I would consider this a pretty good place, actually. You want to know a fun thing? These hollow concrete blocks, we've never seen them in the whole like entire time of playing this game. And we just found them when going to this place. Yeah, well, uh, let's go into the summary. You wanna know another fun fact? I had a stable 60 FPS when I was here before, and now I've only got 40. And the only thing we've done is, ex like, you know, go around the whole world and experience it or explore it. I don't think we destroyed it that easily, but it would be really, really, like, I would be mad if that's how easily you can destroy a world. Uh, either way, to summarize things, we're gonna rank all of these bases into a kind of a list. Now, to begin with the absolute worst base location you could have, let's just begin with the only one which was disqualified, and that is going underground. Okay. So, that's in the ninth place. Let's move on to the eighth place. I would probably say the island in eighth place. Even though it is in 8th place, it could be made like to a great base, however, it's just like building on the land, except it's way harder to do. Okay, so in 7th place, we're picking Scrap City. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, I have challenged you, build some kind of nice base there, and you know, uh, however, I don't even think you can make it look that good. I mean, of course you can, but not at any reasonable hours of playtime. But I mean, a massive UFO on top of it. Yeah, uh, that would be pretty awesome, time. actually. <laughs> now, on sixth place, which kind of actually disappoints me, is this uh, tree base. And that is just yeah. because, yes, it is very cool, I must admit. But it takes time. <laughs> However, if you're just looking for a super nice view, and it's a place, it's a great place for you to build it in. Okay, so in fifth place we actually put the hay maze because, uh, well, uh, it's really, really hard to make it look uh, good, we believe, but uh, it's a really great way to defend the farm. Yeah, and now on to the fourth one, which is uh, the farm tile. Yeah. So, you know, this one is actually really easy to get, like, aesthetically pleasing. You can just... Uh, Put some farm plots, maybe build some kind of tractor and build some houses and it would look like a farm. But it is impossible to make it look like anything but a farm. Yeah, and also those haybots, they would be coming for you. Now in third place we have the base on wheels, because it's a base on wheels. It is awesome, you can make it really good and you have access to all of the materials and all of that. However, there is some complications and it might not fit everyone to build a base on wheels. Yeah, and if you get uh, jumped by one of the red guys without having our backup system. Yeah, which you should check out, link in description. <laughs> in second place we actually have the mechanic station. And well, it is everyone's starter base and everyone will have a base there at one point or another. Yeah. It's a, it's a great thing to do in the beginning, however, it's kind of hard to advance there as well. Now on to the winning competitor or base location, which is the oil pond. And I'm not really surprised, and Hampus is actually checking that. I believe it won the last time as well. Which place did it get in? We put it in both first and third place. Yeah, you know, after the launch break, <laughs> in real life, we also have to have a lunch break in Scrap Mechanic, so I died, and now I yeah. undied. Okay, so before we continue, I just wanted to thank everyone that subscribed. I mean, yeah. You know, I actually put that without asking me. I didn't even see yeah. it until now. Uh, do you know what milestone we celebrated in our last base location video? 25. 13. Huh? 13! And now we're at 325. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, yeah, thank you. This time we're gonna make it a bit simpler. It is in third place. It is in first place according to us. So in short, the oil pond has all of the essentials, or the most essential part, which is the 
but the oil you will need it for basically everything kind of and also it's a really creative place you can build almost as big or as small things as you want and it can be as awesome or not awesome as you want well either way thank you for watching this video and i really hope you enjoyed it